Hello, everyone. What is that? What is that? Did that just pop up like that? Did you guys see that little bubble thing that came up there? Is it now? What is that? Is there other hand signals you can do? It'll do? I don't want to do that one. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How you doing today? Uh, welcome to the show. As always, we do a claim sale every Thursday afternoon with uh, Team Dynamite. We'll be bringing uh, them. Actually, not them. Just one. We got one uh, one person running the show today over at Team Dynamite. Anyone want to guess who that might be? If, Like I said uh, to this person earlier, if there was only going to be one person to run the show by themselves, they would be the one that could handle it. And uh, we're going to find out if that's true or not. So, But my money's on this person. And I'm being very vague because if I say she, then you already know who it is. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and bring... Uh, uh, team Dynamite uh, to the floor here. Amy, how are you doing? Hello, Travis. Hello. Hello. Hey, I'm some good. I'm guessing, honestly good. Some people are guessing it was Alex. No, it ain't Alex. It's 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 the boss. I know Alex did the show by himself last night, but now it is my turn. There you go. So I'm I'm anxious to see how Amy pulls this off. I got total confidence in her. She's got a bunch of books that she's picked out, and uh, we got a giveaway today and all that good stuff. But I will do my best to help uh, everyone along the way. And uh, like I said before, we do this every Thursday around 3 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time. But let me kind of run down how this works. I'll kind of take uh, Rex and Amy's job over for a second mm -hmm. real quick. Uh, but if you claim something on the sale that we have here, you just write in the chat and claim or what item number, whatever it is. And once you do that, all you have to do is fill out the form. And the form is basically your information. You can find that form pinned at the top of the chat. It's also in the description of the video. So please fill those forms out because that's how Team Dynamite gets a hold of you and processes the uh, items that you purchased and sends you the invoice so you can get your books. But every time you purchase something or you claim something, feel free to fill that form out as many times as you like. And also, if you have any questions, there is Amy's uh, email at the very bottom of the description and also Rex's, but Rex isn't here today. Another thing I want to tell people, shipping is $10 for up to six books, I believe. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think we have any uh, CGCs today, but we do have some mega, have packs. mega packs. So the mega packs, the shipping on those would be how much, Amy? $17.50. $17.50. three CGCs. Yeah, and this is for shipping within the United States. So if you're outside the United States, like Canada or the uh, Hawaii or whatever it is, they just do the true shipping. So whatever the shipping cost is, they just bill you whatever that actual shipping number is. Uh, but for everything else inside the 48 uh, states here in the mainland, if you want to call it that, it's that flat rate shipping for up to six books. It's $10 for the slab, the mega packs, up to three slabs at $17.50. I think we covered it. And uh, but like I said earlier, the uh, form is the best thing to do. Fill out the form whenever you purchase something or claim something. And also, if you have any questions, fill that out. And if there's something you're looking for, you can fill that form out. And say, hey, Amy, I'm looking for a certain book or hey, Alex or hey, Rex, do some more math, whatever you want to say to them. And feel free to put that in there and stuff like that. But Amy, this is your show. You are the boss today. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little sinister, but you know what? That's okay. Disney villains, Amy. There you go. How are you doing, Amy? My show, I'm allowed to have fun. Oh my gosh. There you go. Uh, I'm like I said, I'm doing good. Thanks for helping out with all of the form rules because me and Rex explain it every week. And plenty of you guys follow it, but then some of you guys decide not to, and I don't know why. Let me go ahead and like hello to some of the people in the chat really quick. Uh, get the Key Comics is always the first one here. Robbie Roach, hello, how are you? Hi, guys. Uh, Preston, hello. Uh, my good friend, the Setting Climax, he's actually going to be in my part of the country here next month. We get to hang out together, and I'm really looking forward to that because he's a really good guy. But everything, everyone who's watching, there's about 20 people in the chat already. Uh, hello, everyone. Appreciate you guys joining us. And uh, we got some really cool books for sale today. And Amy is going to run the show, and I'm just going to watch. And I won't, I won't, there won't be any cheesy jokes from Rex or from Alex because those are the worst. I mean, the some of the ones that Alex comes up, I love the guy, but some of the ones are like, oh my God. And you can see Amy's face like, oh, what, yeah, what I, is this? 
I pre I appreciate his his enthusiasm though. Sometimes I need that to like help me focus. You can just see Amy's face, realize that this is immortalized on YouTube forever. And <laughs> she was a part of it. Congratulations. It is. <laughs> awesome. All right, let me give you the screen, and uh, it's up to you, Amy. Let's see how she does. All right, I guess if I need a break to just sip some water, put up with me, I'm going to do a lot of talking. So okay. I wear myself out a little bit, but we got a nice little collection of our usual stuff today dynamite collections, mega packs, virgin covers, the works. I got the incentives here. So, so we'll, we'll take it a little at a time. There you started. go. So as usual, we like to start out with our dynamite collections and we got, we had a lot of releases this week. So many. Wait. And one of them is gargoyles number 12. And this is, this is the last one in this gargoyle series, but gargoyles quest is also going to come out soon. So there's more to come. But this specific series, this is the finale. Nice. Gargoyles number 12. So, so the cover set, it's six books, and it's got all the favorites, David Nakayama, Lucio Perillo, Lyrics Lee, and more. It's 1D, so since it's six books, it's $24. It's cover price, and it's all together. And if anyone really wants, wants one, I will see if I can put together the complete series for you, 1 through 12. Just leave a message in the chat or or use the form or email me. Just say, hey, like, yeah, in case, if you don't want just number 12, if you want one through 12, I'll see what I can work out for you, okay? Just let me know if you want. Miss Megan, hello. How are you? Kenneth, hello. How are you? Appreciate you guys joining us today. I'm from Australia. Hello. I don't think That's I've awesome. ever... Have we ever had anyone from Australia before? If this is our first, welcome. Yeah, that's nice awesome. Nice to meet you, Miss Megan. All right, after Gargoyles 2D, which is just $16, is Lilo and Stitch number two, the number two cover set. I, I can't stop talking about the Disney series because they're just so much fun. And as someone who grew up on Lilo and Stitch, this is a great series to read. Now, Amy, I have an honest question. Please don't make fun of me, okay? I will. But let's, which one is Lilo and which one is Stitch? Uh, Lilo is the little girl. Actually, one of her. She's on one of the covers. Here, this is her. Okay. That's, that's Lilo, and then and this and this is Stitch. So they're okay. red and blue. So if that if okay. the colors help. Okay, I I actually did not know that which one was which. Okay, thank you. You ever seen the movie? No, I saw it, but I didn't really pay attention. I you know I took my kids to see it and stuff. You know, I was zoned out. You know, probably looking on Facebook. Or it's a great movie. So yeah, 2D is the Leland Stitch number two cover set. It's four books for $16. It's a good time. All right, well, then we have another cover set. Recently, we just had Vampirella number 666. So naturally, it's number 667. Any Batman comics or Ninja Turtles comics up on the menu? Or we got some Ninja Turtle incentives today. I know we definitely got some Batman, and there's a little, as far as Captain America goes, I'm there's something in one of the Mega Packs, Garrett. So, so we'll so we'll get to them. So, 3D again, four books for sixteen dollars, but it's the Vampirella number six six seven cover set again. All the Vampirella All Stars. Does they have the cosplay cover? There is a cosplay cover from Miss Rachel Hall. I know you're good friends with her. Well, I don't know about that, but <laughs> we're, let's just say we know each other. Very cool. Yeah, four bucks. The A cover is pretty good. It is. It is really good. Very, very. I mean, she's holding a pumpkin, so it's perfect for Halloween. <laughs> but it's March. It, it, there's always time for Halloween. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, it's all quite a ways away. All right, up next, 4D, Savage Red Stallion number five, and it's the finale for this series. And I believe what's at, right after this is Red Stallion Empire of the Damned. So, that, so that's coming out soon. So Savage Red Sonia, number five cover set, 
4D16. Again, if someone's interested in in issues one through five, let me know. I'll see if I can make a set for you. Thanks for the warm welcome, first Aussie. I'm honored. It's a, we're honored to have you here. There you go. Hi, Trey Paper Dad. All right, 5D Miss Elvira is back with, and she's hanging out with HP Lovecraft on a new crazy adventure. So it's the second issue. And let me show off. Everyone loves the photo cover for Elvira. Oh yeah. See, it's issue two, four co four covers. Just 16. Something really cool. The, there's a Comic-Con up here in the Pacific Northwest that I work with. I'm actually the host of all their panels. And they just announced a horror fest. And it's going to be uh, hosted by Elvira. Nice. And I'll finally get to meet her in person. So I'm looking forward to that. Sounds like it's going to be a really fun time. Yeah, yeah. All right. Just one more cover set. Because, again, so many books came out this week. You got Army of Darkness Forever, number six. I had to make sure. <laughs> 60. Because, yeah, and a lot of these are just simple four-cover sets. So I don't know how well you can see this cover, but it's Francisco Matina's cover. Funky Cole Matina. That's his nickname. You know, I, I asked him when I met him. I asked him. Cover, so I asked him. I asked him if he knew what the funky cold Matina meant, and he pretended like he didn't speak English. <laughs> and then, like, I heard him later talking to a guy in English. I was like, what the hell? Anyway. Yeah, Army of Darkness Forever, number six. So, so yeah, a lot of these sets, it's just four books. That's why they're 16, except for Gargoyles. But it's it's fun seeing what we got what we got out every week. We won't have as many as for next week, but yeah, you guys had a lot of books to drop this Wednesday. I was I was surprised how many books came out this Wednesday. But I'm glad we have all these for this week. Speaking Again, of the books that came, that came out, know. look, I picked Other up my cats. issue two nice. there. Could not find the Rob Liefeld cover, so I just went with a regular A cover, which I actually was. Probably my second favorite, to be honest. So I was pretty happy yeah. with that. I'm sure if you need one, I, I'll, I'll have to see what I'll have to ask Alex if he can see what we have left over here. But the Thundercats have been going like crazy. The first one's in third print. That's pretty cool. And not to mention, Declan Shelby, the writer of Thundercats, was in the Dynamite office today doing a live stream talking about. Yeah, uh, I, I got Thunder to say, I don't know a little bit. He's Bunch very nice. Guys. Cool. All the way from Ireland, I believe. I think, I think I'm right. So, yeah. 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 yeah I just for me. And him and Nick had a cool chat. You can check it out on the Dynamite channel. But it was, it was, really, it was really nice to see him. Okay. He, did, yeah. he signed a lot of books. So, we'll see what happens with those books. Meeting Elvira. So jealous. Yeah. I had actually had uh, Elvira on the channel there, Miss Megan. We, her and I did an interview together talking about one of the dynamite books that came out. It was a couple years ago, I believe, but to her and the uh, writer of the book, uh, the guy who's currently writing the current Elvira thing, I'm forgetting his name, but the three Steven. of us, did, yeah, three of us did a uh, interview together. So it was pretty awesome having her on the channel. Captain Ramius, how you doing, my friend? Hey, Ramius, Space Ghost Ash Cans. I don't know where Alex put them. So that's why I, w I don't have them on hand with me tonight. If, again, if Alex is able to make it in the second half of the show, that's great, and I'll and we'll bring it up to him. But as of right now, I don't have them on me. I'm sorry. Garrett says, "I know there there's a He-Man and Thundercats crossover in comics, which is very interesting. That would be kind of interesting because He-Man rides a cat, okay? And yeah. wouldn't the Thundercats get pissed off that he's riding a cat?" Never mind. <laughs> hey, it's a thought. Yeah. And guys, I, before I forget, at some point during the show, we're going to do a giveaway. And we have a really cool giveaway today. We got one of our commission cover arts of the Phoenix. So, you're just going to take a question. I don't know what's going to be. 
But later on in the show, he's going to put a question up, and whoever's the first to answer it gets this. Awesome. Stick around. I recommend a Brackspace Ghost cover at some point. I'm trying to remember who else is on the Space Ghost covers. Because I can only think of Perio and Chaley right now. That one right there. There you go. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Up next, we got our Dynamite Virgin covers. First up, Draculina Blood Simple number one. This is the Joseph Michael Lindsner Virgin cover. And again, usually around the certain Virgin covers are usually around 50, but I like to keep them at half price at 25. So 1B, Draculina, $25. All right, 2B, Vampirella Dracula, Unholy number two. The fabulous Peach Momoko version cover. MSRP is 40, keeping it at 20. Peach makes great covers of Vampirella. All right, 3B, Miss Red Sonia number 10. We got a Lyrics Lee version cover. Hopefully it's not too dark that you can't see it. That's pretty it's cool. It's a really nice one. MSRP will be 50, but I'm going to keep it at 25 for you guys at half price. Yeah, 3B, Lyrics Lee, 25. Imagine them writing Power Rangers crossover with Voltron like they did with Godzilla and Ninja Turtles. That'd be a comic to read and collect. Indeed it would. I'd put my money on Godzilla against Ninja Turtles. Do you know that Godzilla in the comic books is not allowed to eat people? Interesting. He can burn them alive. With the but flame, not eat them? But he cannot eat them. Why is that? I don't know. I was I, I, I did a panel with the current writer of Godzilla for IDW at, at MegaCon. And we were talking about it on stage. And he said, there's only one rule I can't. He, Godzilla can't eat people. That's weird. But he can smash them. Step on them, burn them into their bones, ashes. He just can't eat them. So that's weird. Anyway, all right, 4B is dynamite number four. It's the cosplay cover. Quite gruesome. That's a cosplay. Cover. Yeah, again, I know it's a little dark, but it's the cosplay cover. Wow. I want to say it's Rachel again. Yeah, it looks like Rachel. That's pretty good. Yeah. Dynamite number four, 15, $15. All right. Last version cover, Unbreakable Red Cillian number four, Lucio Perillo version cover. Pretty stellar, I think. Usually around 50, but again, keeping it at 25, half price. 5V, Unbreakable Red Sonia, $25. Lousy Claire. Captain Ramius will take 3V, please. You got it. You I got it, Ramius. Isn't he a Lyrics Lee fan? If mm -hmm. I'm correct. Try to find ones for him that he doesn't have yet. I know there was a Lyrics Lee uh, Marvel book this past week. Yes, and I would have had it if it didn't sell last night. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I saw uh, Alex had it on the show. Mm -hmm. it's old. I think it was like 90 bucks or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty pricey. Yeah. All right, from Virgin Covers... To our signed books. All right. First up, Batman Arkham Genesis number one. Lee variant signed by Pete Tomasi. Hopefully you guys can get a nice look at the signature. That's a really nice cool cover. 
It would usually be around $69.99, but I'm going to keep it at $49.99. And each signed book has a COA. And apparently now you can send it in the CDC and they can verify the signature because I guess that's what they're doing now. They uh, I can, great. Yeah, because see, the other grading company did it before, but I guess now CDC purchased the thing mm -hmm. where they verify yeah. signatures. So if anyone wants to get your book slabbed and verified, they will do that now for you. Or I can just tell you that's signed. And that's just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah. Batman Arkham Genesis 49.99 1S. All right, up next I have The Star Wars. Number one, signed by Mike Mayhew. What's up, Lord of Brooklyn? That's pretty good. Is that his cover? Mike Mayhew's cover? It must it be. be. Yeah, it's got to be. That's what he does. Yeah. Yeah. It's Mike Lord Mayhew's Lord. cover. That's kind of cool. Mike's a nice guy. And again, probably be around $69.99. I'm going to keep it at $49.99. So, is uh, apologies, real quick. Alex is still on his way back, to which I said, I, he, he's like, oh, I picked up lunch. I was like, what do you mean you picked up lunch? He's like, well, I didn't eat all day. I said, Dude, plan ahead. What the heck? And we had Declan Shalby here earlier, which I saw you chimed in. Thank you, Travis, before the uh, internet fell apart on us. Yeah, I noticed that too. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, listen, you're not the one who did it. It was my ugly face that scared away the... Uh... And Alex can take his take his time. There's no rush. Oh, people like you better anyway. Hi, Nick. How you doing? Good, man. Good. So, Captain Remus. All right, let me get out of everybody's way. It wouldn't be a proper show unless Nick <laughs> came in once or twice. So. Yeah. All lunch, right, up next. Lunch at, lunch at 622 is a Bueller move, okay? It's only 323 where I'm at. Did you, I'm sorry, Travis. Did you mention where you were earlier and I totally missed it? No, I'm I'm uh, actually back down in my uh, home state of Oregon right now. Nice. Yeah, I'm I'm back to kind of helping take care of my dad some more. So, how is he? Uh, it's it's a it's a new normal, I guess you'd say. You know, he's never really kind of uh, got back to where he was before he got sick. Uh, right. But it, it just is what it is. I mean, he's he's older and he's got some health issues and stuff. So we're just we're just you know being there and spending time with them and enjoying that time. So cool. All right. Three oh, S it's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number zero. And I pulled the red Ranger variant. Hopefully you guys can see Kyle Higgins signature right there. That's probably better. Nice. Yeah. I got up for 39 99 today. Hello, Biggie Shack. How you doing my friend? Appreciate you stopping by. I had a piece of cheese for lunch, Laura of Brooklyn. A piece of cheese. That's pretty much what I had for lunch is a piece of cheese. <laughs> I'll make it up for dinner. Okay. All right. 4S, Avengers versus X-Men, number one, signed by Jim Chung. He's there's the signature right in the corner. And we're keeping this at $39.99 today. Any X-Men fans out there, let me know if you also watched X-Men 97. I think it's great so far. No, I didn't have the bikers didn't take my lunch money. Oh god, that whole scary situation with you at the motel. Thank God you just got out of there. Me and Rex were worried. Yeah, you know, I think I told you, but like when I went and checked out, they didn't even ask me why I left. They're like, okay. You know, it's like they, they were like, they were like surprised I checked in in the first place, I guess. And I was like, I mean, I was only there for a couple hours and stuff. And I was like, like okay, bye. Okay, bye. So, yeah. Hey, you guys, welcome to the one today. That's awesome. 
Got a I'll 181 today. Cool. I know he's been working towards getting the 181 for a while now, so that's pretty awesome. All right. The last sign book I have here, we got a little bit more X-Men. We have Heroes Reborn, Magneto and the Mutant Forge, number one, signed by Bernard Chang. There's Bernard's signature right there. And again, usually the red or silver signatures go for $69.99, but I'm keeping it half price at $39.99. I'll, I'll show off that COA as well. It's a red signature. Is it red? Magneto and the Mutant Force. Isn't that a red signature? Mm-hmm. Oh. I said, well, red and silver signatures. Okay. You can go up a little higher, but I'll keep it at $39.99. Challenge Piggy Shack to a trivia battle for Hulk 181. Hmm. Don't do it. Oh, boy. <laughs> How about you do a challenge, Amy, about the Nightmare Before Christmas? That would be. That would also be unwise. Yeah. <laughs> My money's on Amy. All right. We ready for some commission cover art? Yeah, is this a Silver Surfer one? Yep. This one's pretty cool. All right. One R. It's Doctor Strange, number one, even though you can't see the title. But, yeah, Silver Surfer, is a, it's a collage because the Silver Surfer is drawn. And then everything else is a collage put on the cover. And it's by Joe W. Otto Mariani, Cieza. And this is really Easily one of their best covers. I that think. is probably one of their better ones, to be honest. I like that one quite a bit. God, that's awesome. They used the whole cover. Yeah. It would be How around one forty nine ninety nine, but we're gonna keep it at eighty five. Let me let me take let me move the tag back here so you guys can get the whole picture. Not bad at all. These are the guys that work in the basement, by the way. So any, anything we can purchase from them will help them live normal lives. <laughs> there, here's another great one they made. 2R. We got Batman number 181. Fabulous Batman cover. And I'm keeping this one at 75 today. It's okay, but I like the Silver Surfer one better. That's okay. But, but you also can't go wrong with the nice Batman cover. I have a Batman cover of one of theirs in my collection, to be honest. I think uh, I got it from uh, Descending Climax <laughs> here to me. Sorry, I was just thinking of something. Uh-oh. What? Why? What's going on? Oh, my God. What the hell? Where did that happen? That's that's freaking me out, man. I'm Amy, here. Amy, are you okay? Uh, you got back. You're safe. We're back. Say that again. I'm sorry. Are you okay? That was weird. Yeah, but like I hear the door open. I'm just like, uh, like, oh, he must be back. I made it. Well, did he crawl on the floor? No. What's up, new haircut? How you doing? Hello. Man? Hello, yeah. I was I was uh making sure Declan got back okay. That's good, man. You drove him all the way to Ireland. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty wet. It was a very, very long swim. Yeah, I, I like that new haircut you got there, Alex. Man, you're looking pretty spiffy. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah. You look like you know. uh, just kidding. I was watching. I was listening, listening while I was driving. Anyway, I heard everything. <laughs> worried about the basement people. But yeah, I was just working on the commission cover art. No special. You want me to write? Well, right. we, we uh, haven't got to the newer ones yet. They're, they're coming up here pretty soon. Like you, like you, again, you, sometimes you explain these books way better than I do. So, but they're right here. But th don't worry, guys, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just moving to the back a little bit. <laughs> <coughs> Just make sure I can still see the comments, all right? Oh yeah, they 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 message us though. 
All right. Hello. Hello, Alex. All right. Back to being a two-person show. It was nice while it lasted. <laughs> How this guy? What, what, what do we show off already? Did we show off Gargoyles 12? Yes. We, okay, everything on here we showed already. Up next need... was this one. You want to oh. talk about it? Yeah. Although we do need to do an Amy Aftermath here pretty quick. How about we do that after the commission cover art? We'll do it. We'll do an aftermath. That sounds if good. You're, if you're a fan of body parts, Iron Fist is your favorite superhero. Here you go. Ken Hazer, Iron Fist. Look at that beautiful yellow with the helmet and the, I mean, the mask. And you know, I think I'm going to get get this back in the middle Goodbye. so you guys can see me right here, but then you still got right there. All right. So Ken Hazer right here. It's only fifty dollars for Ken Hazer, right there. Whoa! Should I show this next one? Oh yeah, House of Slaughter. Yes, this is the lunch talking. Look at this, House of Slaughter. Now this is a spinoff of Something Is Killing the Children. James Tinian, right here. Ken Hazer sketch, right here. And this is House of Slaughter number one. Do you like this book? Here it is. Here it is. Hey, and what'd you get, what'd you, Alex, what did you get for lunch? I got a cheesesteak. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Did you get Declan something? Uh, the plan was for us to get cheesesteaks, but he had another place that he had to be. Yeah. And so he, uh, we didn't have time for lunch together. Did he sit in the front next to you, or did he sit in the back seat? That's very. Uh, he sat in the front. I made sure he had uh, absolute best best ride possible. He was, nice. Look at you. That's I good. You know what's cool? Right here. How about Spawn number three thirty with a Malibogia sketch? Right here. Look at that. That's Can a negative space one. 5R is how much, Amy? Well, there's no price on it yet because I want to see who really, really wants it. So it's best offer. Best, and we're starting it at 10 Best offer starting at $10. Guys, this Euler has it for 10 Garrett, this could be yours for $11 or more. Increments and whole dollar amounts, please. But this is best offer right now. This is Ken Hazer, Spawn 330, Malibogia sketch right here. Anybody wants this? This is – I'll take this show thing. Who so is I, I got a question. So that's a negative space cover? I mean, I'm guessing. You know, the uh, can I ask what a, a positive space cover looks like? You can. Unfortunately, I don't have a stupid joke to go, so I'm just going to... Oh, I know. I was actually wanting to know the answer. Not a jokey answer, a real answer. What's a positive space cover look like? I don't even have a, a, a stupid answer. I don't know. Here, here, here's a space space cover. A space space cover? Because they're in space. Yeah. Yeah. So here's a negative space. Guys, this is Lord of Brooklyn's in at $12. So this custom sketch cover. That Brooklyn's in the lead. MSRP of what? $89.99? Could be yours for mm -hmm. less than $89.99. Right here, this is Spawn 330, signed in sketch in silver. Ken Hazer. Comics says, what did comics say? Comics in the embrace. Got a question. Guys, this is best offer. Descending 15. Climax. Let's 15. go. Can we get this Ken Hazer cover to 20? It's a black sketch cover and it's done in silver. 20. Lord for Brooklyn. Lord Brooklyn. Thank you. Thank 20. you. Can we get the 25 in honor of over 25 issues of Spawn? Ooh. Undercats. Can we get the 25? This is. Malibuja sketch on Spawn 330. Ken Hazer right here. MSRP is $89.99. Right here. Malibuja. Ken Hazer. 
Anyone else? Laura Brooklyn's in the lead. Laura Brooklyn is in the lead. 25. Now Climax is in the lead. Descending Climax is in the lead for 25. Laura Brooklyn, can you get the 30? Or can you do 33 in honor of 333? Or want to do 30? Can we get there? I don't know. I'm just trying to pump the numbers. Let's do it. Ken Hazer. Woohoo. Come on. Uh, 25 right now for Descending Climax. Again, Mrs. Spawn 330. Has a COA. 33. Oh, Laura 33. Brooklyn. 33. All right. Well, that's the number that I wanted to hit. I was happy with that. But it's, 33. It's Climax. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you fold or will you go higher? Will you go elite or smidge above 33? Yeah. Can we get the 35? Descending Climax. Do you want to go 35? Or are you going to tap out and let that little Brooklyn get it for 33? This is a Malibu. Oh, Garrett Riddle in at 35. 35. 35, 35. Look at that. All right, guys, we're going to um, try to wind this down soon. So, Garrett's at 35 Do we hear a $40 offer for a Ken Hazer sketch? MSRP of these sketches are $90. MSRP of Ken Hazer sketch start at $90. So, it'll be a steal no matter what. Lord of Brooklyn folds. So, Garrett Riddle, it's in the climax folds. So, Garrett Riddle in at 35 Congrats, Mr. Garrett Riddle. Unless nice. anybody else has a higher bid, fair warning. Let's go, and we'll say congrats. What's next? Uh, we're th how about we'll we'll do an Amy aftermath real quick, so we can quit like just quick recap of what's up here, and then you have all the room for putting everything else up. Sound good? Wonderful. All right, it's the beginning of the show. I talked about the dynamite cover, so and these are all still available. 1D, Gargoyles number 12, cover set, six issues, $24. Again, if someone really does want the complete series, email me, let me know. I'll see what I can make for you. Uh I believe we have we can offer these individually too. Did you want to go through it and see if anybody wants individuals? I mean, I mean, guys, if you want, if you go on any individuals, just say if you if you want the single issues. This is A Nakayama, B Perio, C Lyrics, D Jay Lee, E Tony Fleeks, Trish Forstner, and F uh, Mariana Puglia. If anybody wants any of the issues as a set or singularly. Just claim Gargoyles with the cover letter you want, and we'll get you a copy. Cover price is $3.99 on each. There you go. Anyway. Guys, I'm going to step right. away for, for a couple minutes. I'll be right back, okay? All right. You. All right. 2D is also still available. That's Lilo and Stitch number two. The cover set, four issues for $16. Cover A is? Nicoletta. Yeah, Nicoletta. Uh, Baldari. Uh, B is Trish Forstner. Uh, Lord of Brooklyn wants a Gargoyles uh, J. Lee. Gotcha. Uh, this third one, C, is Edwin Galman. This one's been a big sell. This is Lilo and Stitch covers C. Edmund Galman. Lilo and Stitch C. And then Lilo and Stitch D, which is the... Craig Russo, this is the bleeding, the negative space cover. D, A, B, C, and D. If anybody wants any individuals, let us know. Do you know Travis asked me earlier? He's like, I, I need to be serious. This is a serious question. Which one is Lilo and which one is Stitch? Yeah. I, I'm just surprised he didn't remember because he said he saw the movie. Yeah, it was movie. Kind of, it was a funny yeah, question. It's in the movie. All right, 3D is also still available. The Vampirella number 667 cover set. Four books for $16. Or if you want individuals, these are five. $16? It's a different cover yeah, price? These, these are four, five, four nine. So Oh, it wow. Be, it should be, it's 1993, uh, 1996 for these. Uh, these are four ninety nine cover price. But if anybody wants any individuals, Lucio Perillo A. Your turn. I want you to say this one. I can't. Elias. Elias Chatzudis. Chatzudis. See, you got it. I got it. Chatzudis. 
uh, Carla Cohen and Rachel Holland cosplay A, B, C, or D. If anybody wants individuals, just let us know. All right, 4D, also still available. Savage Red Stallion number five cover set. And is that cover price still correct? Correct. Yeah, that's okay. only the uh, that one was cardstock cover. So Savage Red Sonia. A is Dan Panosian. B is Frank Cho. Lord of Brooklyn wants a Carla Cohen. Vanilla. All right. That should be C, I believe. All right for cover price. Yes. Gotcha. Frank Cho. That's a great cover. How about this one right here, which is obviously. Uh, Jay Anacleto. And right here, Rachel Holland cosplay. A, B, C, or D. The set is 16, or we have the individuals as well. A, B, C, or D. All right. 5G is still available. Elvira meets HP Lovecraft number two cover set. Again, it's just. These are, these are 540. Each, so. All right. Okay. Uh, Lord of Brooklyn wants a Savage Red Sonia B and C. All right. B and C. And that's Lord of Brooklyn. All right. Thank you. All right. So, guys, this is Elvira, HP Lovecraft. Cover price is $4.99. These are cardstock Sorry covers. for the slip, guys. It happened. It's okay. I think I, I think as books move the cardstock covers, everything's going to. Gotcha. The cardstock covers are better quality anyway. And they look good. Um, Dave Acosta right here. We've got Cooper. Cooper Ball. We have Robert Hack. And we have the photo cover. A, B, C, and D. Anybody wants any? A, B, C, or D. Elvira meets HP Lovecraft. Number two. All right. The last cover set that's still available is Army of Darkness Forever, number six. That's four issues. Cardstock. And it's cardstock. Card I'm stock sorry for price. again. I'm so used to the I'm so used to the normal one. I'm just like, oh, it's probably fine. But whoa. Maybe I couldn't do this by myself. Wow, you're, oh, look man. at this. Matina cover, cover A, Arthur Soydum. If you love chainsaws, right there, Soydum B. How about Tony Fleeks, C. Or you've got Chris Burnham, D. A, B, C, or D. Army of Darkness Forever, number six of eight. All right. That was it. Those were our dynamite covers, our virgin covers. We got four of them still available. I just want to give you a second. Yeah, Garrett. Yeah, Army of Darkness Forever. If you want any of the issues, let us know. Whoa. All right, first virgin cover that's still available. One V, Draculina, Blood Simple, number one, the Joseph Michael Lindsner virgin cover. It's still Ooh. available for $25. That's pretty. All 25. right, two V is still available. Vampirella, Dracula, Unholy, number two, the Peach Momoka virgin cover, still available for $20. Peach. And real quick, if anyone happens to be watching this on the Rewind, you can still get stuff. Just send in the form and ask if, if, if a specific item is still available. We'll let you know. So you don't guys, you guys don't get to miss out on all the fun. Don't miss out on the fun. All right. 4V is still available. Dynamite number four, the cosplay virgin cover, is still available for $15. All right. Then the last virgin cover... Unbreakable Red Sonia number four, the Lucio Perillo version cover, still available for $25. Oh, wow, that's card stock. Oh, that's nice. All right, what's next? All right, the signed books. Whoa. Still available, 1S, Batman Arkham Genesis, number one, the Lee variant, the Lee variant signed by Pete Tomasi, is still available for $49.99. 
What's up, Becky? Hello, Becky. Hi, Becky. Garth, Arkham Knight, Genesis. Wow. Tomasi, look at that cover. That's a great cover. Oh, Jim Lee cover. Yeah, yeah. Jimothy Leington right here. Did you say Jimothy? Jimothy Leington. All right. Two S still available. The Star Wars number one signed by Mike Mayhew. It's his cover. The great, great cover. It's still available for forty nine ninety nine. All right, let's talk about this for a second. What is the Star Wars? Travis, do you know what the Star Wars is and why it's different than Star Wars? It's uh by George Lucas made it. Yeah, it's more the. No, yeah. So this, yeah. So this eight issue series is based off of George Lucas's original script for Journey to the Wills, Star Wars, right here. And this eight issue mini series is any unlike anything Star Wars you've read before. It's completely different. It's its own thing. It's a lot of fun. And only seventy seven copies signed by Mister Mike Mayhew, not Peter Mayhew, unfortunately, but Mike Mayhew. All right. Still cool. available. 3S. Go, go. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number zero. Oh, the Red Ranger variant signed by Kyle Higgins is still available for $39.99. I'm in red. Am I the Red Ranger? You're the Red Ranger, all right. Yeah, I'm the Red Ranger. So I know. Look, look, look well, uh, line, your, line your hands up to where I, I no, no. How he's told. Line up the book with your hands on it so it looks like you're holding the, uh, yeah. Oh, there, God. There you go. Look at that. Go, That's go. Ranger. I'll give you credit. That looks pretty cool. Okay, guys, buy this book. Wow. Look, it's issue number zero. Travis let you slide. That's, that's It's amazing. a wraparound cover, which is fun. And not only that, oh, well, I mean, wraparound with the red. Kyle Higgins signs it in red. This book is a must-have because this is issue zero. Issue zero. It is morphin time. So issue zero. Kyle Higgins, how much? Forty dollars. All right. 4S still available. Wow. Avengers versus X-Men, number one signed by Jim Chung. Wow. And, and still available for $39.99. Look at the cover. Does it say does it say? I don't know. It is Romita. I knew. It. I knew it. it looked like it looked like Romita. Uh, look at all those Avengers and look at all those X Men. Who's gonna win? A V X, A V S X, Abs. <laughs> Never mind. Um, here we go. Right here. This one is forty dollars with COA. Right here. Nice. All right, yeah. last signed book still available. Heroes Reborn, Magneto and the Mutant Force, number one, signed by Bernard Chang. It's still available for $39.99. Look at this cover. If you love standing on your head, this is the book for you. Right here, Magneto and the Mutant Force, signed by Bernard Chang, $40 right here. All like right, and the commission head. cover art that's still available. Wow. One R, Doctor Strange, number one, the Silver Surfer collage cover by Joe Del Beato and Mariano Nicieza. Oh, this awesome cover. Still available for 35, 85, guys. Sorry. Think about something else for a second. It's still available for 85. That's a cool cover. All right, two R, Batman 181. Also from Joe Del Biano Mariani see that this is still available for 75. Bats in the sky. I can fly twice as high. Take a look. He's on a book. It's Batman Rainbow. Oh, I was like, at first I was like, what song are you parroting here? And then Batman you just said Rainbow. it. And then you just said it. I was like, oh my God. I'm sorry. Garrett's a very enthusiastic viewer tonight. Thank yeah, you, Garrett. Yeah, we appreciate you. This is Batman Rainbow. Plus the Mariano Nisi has a Cranbow signature. Look at that right there, <laughs> guys, right here. Nice try, Preston. Seventy-five. All right, still available. Power Man and Iron Fist number one with the Iron Fist cover sketch by Ken Hazer. 
Yeah. Still available, guys, for 50. Right here. Nice and clean. It was a good cheesesteak loaded in Brooklyn. It was so good. And then House Thanks of for a House of Slaughter. Still available. House of Slaughter number one, signed and remarked by Ken Hazer. Still available for fifty. That's pretty cool. I like that one. All right, we got the medals. What's next? The medals. All right, first medal. It's Mad Balls versus Garbage Pail Kids. Time again, slime again. Number one. It's the Joe Simcoe. Virgin metal cover, and you guys usually the metal covers are like a hundred a piece, but because you're because you're a great crowd, I want to keep it at half price. So that's just fifty dollars. Sound good? All right. Two M is Army of Darkness Forever. Number one, it's the Francisco Matina Virgin metal cover. It might be a little hard to see, so that's why Alex took it out. So hopefully you guys can see it. It's very hard to see these metal covers, are but amazing. still really nice. If you like comic books that double as mirrors, these are the, these are your books because they look beautiful. And then you can see your pretty face in them as well. And this is just fifty. This is just fifty, guys. The good. metals are half off. Evil Dead. Boom. All right, 3M, it's Red Sonia. It's the Halloween special. I told you earlier, Travis, it's never a bad time for Halloween. It's the, and this is the Halloween special from 2018. It's the Riley Brown Virgin Metal cover. If you love and again, just for 50. If you love pumpkins, here's your book. If you love pumpkins, this is your book. Red Sonia, Halloween special, one shot, Riley Brown. $50. 4M. It's Purgatory number two. Purgatory and, number two. And it's the TMNT homage cover by our good buddy Ken Hazer. And again, just $50. $50. Purgatory right here. Going on the wall. Achoo! And then last but not least... This metal cover, 5M, it's Vampirella Strikes Number 3 by Jung Yoon Yoon. I, again, I always feel bad if I don't say the name right, but I hope it's right. Whoa! Oh, yeah, I, 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 I just found this one in, the, in our stacks. But it's a beautiful, beautiful cover, and once again, I'm going to make it best offer. What? Well, we just found this. It's fun. Okay. So, yeah, starting at $10, oh. a Vampirella Virgin Metal cover, guys. Guys, this is a metal cover. Best offer starting at $10. MSRP of these are $100. These have print runs of about 50 total. This is a metal Vampirella, and it's by Jung Jin Yoon. Uh, Preston is in the lead at 15. Preston, Sorry, Brooklyn. Preston, Brooklyn came, came in Preston first. Preston got in really quickly at 15. Oh, now it's at 20. 20. Lord Brooklyn Preston says 25. Preston's 25. 25. Preston says 25. Guys, this metal. That was fast. Vampirella Strikes is a couple of years old. We, we haven't not shown this one in a while. I don't think we have any more. I was cleaning out an old box and I found a few medals. So, wow, Garrett it pops up the third. Uh, pops Ooh. us up the thirty-five. Thank you, so Garrett. Thirty-five for the medal. Again, this is Vampirella Ella Ella A. A A, you can have Vampirella. forty. Oh, forty! Thank you, Descending Climax. We are at forty. Yes, guys. If you like bats, here you go. Seriously, this this cover is great. Vampirella Strikes number trays number three, issue three by Jung Jin Yoon. No, that's not how that works, Travis. Uh, we're at forty right here. Right what about there. My, what about my eleven? It's okay. Damn. Seven climax for 40. Anybody want to go 45? I'll do 11. <laughs> Preston's folding. Does anybody else want have any interest? Again, this is an out of print. Vampirella strikes number three. Jung Jin Yoon. Vampirella right here in all her glory. Uh, 
Garrett, do you want to keep trying or are you giving it to Descending Climax? Yeah, Garrett, we do want to. Okay, Bueller. All right, Garrett, we do want to hear from you to confirm that you're out uh, just to make sure we're not missing anything or the bid is here. Um, so, uh, Garrett Riddle hits Ooh, us with he hits 50. The 50. All right, Descending Climax, look at that. You're going to have to beat 50 and hit. Hit at least, like, let's just say 55. Let's go increments of five for over 50. Um, so we're at 50, 55 for the next one for 52. 52. You know what? Let's, I'll, uh, I'll let it. I'll let it slide. We have, a cut, we have a cut bid at 52. We have a cut bid there. The 70 climax in at 52. Next bid increment has to be 55. Garrett Riddle, can you hit 55 for that? Garrett Riddle hits us with Whoa, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. Again, again, this is Vampirella Strikes number three. It is out of print. The 70 Climax folds. Garrett Riddle grabs this for 60. Nice. Congrats, Garrett again. Riddle. By the way, if you haven't, make sure you fill out the claim form because we need your information. We, we yeah, show you the, the books. Info. You claim the books. You fill out the form. We get your info. Get, you get yeah, Garrett, again, you got to steal on that because, again, those are usually go for 100 and you got it at 60. It's that a nice, awesome. nice job. Congrats. Did I win? Did I win? You won <laughs> something. I didn't win? Damn it. Uh, I was going to let you do your incentives. Are you ready? What are these? Um, some Dynamite Atlas books, unless you want to do them first. Yeah, let's do these first. Unless All right, right, then. All right, before incentives, I'm trying a new category out. All right. So it's I have wait, I have these books a little bit hidden away. These books are separated. These books are separated from the main sign books because they are dynamite atlas signatures. These are, are atlas are high end atlas signature series stuff. All these are really high end. Some of these are high ratios, but all these are not regular books. These are the high-end Dynamite Atlas books. So what do we got first, Amy? All right, first up, it's Army of Darkness and Bubba Hotep, number one. And this is, now this Atlas signed edition is signed by Robert Hack. Guys, this is a crossover, Dynamite and IDW together. And there's a COA on each one. Army of Darkness, know. Bubba Hotep. Guys, these are Atlas books, and they all come with COAs. Guys, the Atlas books are higher end paper material quality and have a nice white at the bottom for a nice signature there. These are super limited, even more so than the DF stuff. So the Dynamite Atlas stuff, do not sleep on Bubba Hotep, Army of Darkness. $24.99. <laughs> Army of Darkness and Bubba <laughs> All right, up next is 2A. It's Betty Page, Unbound, number one. And this Atlas edition is signed by David Avalone. David Avalone, sorry. Flubbed up a second. Betty Page, Unbound. Although this book's pages... Blockbuster price. Ironically, this book's pages are bound by a staple holding the book together. But this is Betty Page, Unbound. For 20 bucks. We have, yeah, we have it on our website for twenty four ninety nine, but I'm keeping it at nineteen ninety nine, And that's a blockbuster price. Woo! Oh, this cover is fire. And then, all right. Th I love this one too. 3A, it's Dynamite Never Dies, number one. And then and this and then this Atlas edition is signed by Fred Van Lente. A uh, Preston claims Betty. All yours, Preston. All you Preston. Guys, Dynamite Never Dies, number one. This is the movie poster variant. For the oh, and this is movie for the Atlas edition, signed by Fred Van Lente. How much? You it would usually be forty nine ninety nine, but I'm going to keep it at twenty four ninety nine. Again, these Atlas books are higher end, limited, really limited. Fred Van Lent. There there aren't a lot of Atlas books for every time. I mean, there are barely any Atlas books anyway. The last one was the Thundercats number one, but we only have them for higher end titles. Becky. All Plains, yours, Becky. The dynamite never dies. Ready for All this right. one? Up next, 4A. Bang, bang. 
It's James Bond, Agent of Spectre number one, and this Atlas edition is signed by Christos Gage. Yes, my best James Bond impersonation right there. Ian Fleming's James Bond, Agent, what? I did the, uh, bang. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? I don't know what that was. There's no duper 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 bang. Uh, actually, I can't sing it because we'll get copyright infringement. That's all right. So yeah, usually forty nine ninety nine. I'm going to keep it at twenty four ninety nine. James Bond, Christos Gage, right here. There, I don't even think there was a one for the new series for Atlas edition. This is Atlas James Bond. All right, five A. This is Panther number one. Oh, and Panther. signed by Tom Snigoski and Janine Atkinson. Hold on. Wait, what? This is double signed? It's double signed. Guys, this is double signed. But you know what? This particular book, I'm going to keep it at $24.99. That's like $12 signature. Oh, can't do that. Okay, never mind. Guys, right here, Panther number one. Tom Snigowski, Janine Atchison. Right here, $24.99. A double signed book. Not just one, but two. All right, up next is 6A, and it's Death to the Army of Darkness, number one. And this Atlas edition is signed by Ryan Parrott, for, usually $49.99, but you know what? I'm keeping it at $24.99. Yes, Death to Army of Darkness, signed by Ryan Parrott. Right here. All right. Last but not least for this section, it's Red Sonia, black, white, and red. And it's signed by Power Couple, Cat Stags, and Amanda Debert. Oh, double. Double now, sign. Now, but since this one is, is very, very special, this one, because the MSRP is 75, I put it at 50. I put this one at 50. Yeah, this is a hard combination. Cat bags and Amanda Deeper. Right here. Red Sonia, black, white, and red. Signed in red. Double signed in red. Not just once, but twice. All right, are you ready to do I'm your ready. incentives? I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, I think I'm ready. I, I'm, 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 understand, I'm understanding most of the references tonight. Oh, thank you. Oh, Probably my favorite one so far. Can I move these out? I said most of the references. Not all of them. How about Batman and Superman? Well, together, they're the world's finest. And here you go. World's Finest. The glare wasn't incredible on that. So one eye, by the way. Not even gonna try. Here's the book, so you can actually see it. One in twenty-five. Christian Ward. We only have one of these, and it's ten dollars. You heard me. One in twenty-five. Christian Ward for ten dollars. That is a one in twenty-five DC ratio for again ten dollars. And Becky, goes, goes Becky. Becky. All right. Nice pickup, Becky. Uh, Lord of Brooklyn, a little bit too late. Becky got in really quick on that one. Guys, here's the book I've been waiting for since they announced it. If you like... <laughs> I don't even know. No. If you like clones, if you like genetic material coming from one person being used to make a whole army that then ends up killing the Jedi. If you love Boba Fett's father, it's time for Boba Fett's father. It, Boba Fett's himself. Anyway, Star Wars Jango Fett, number one. And look at Jango Fett, because that's not Jango Fett. That's his bounty hunter partner, Ara Singh. That's Ara Singh right here. This is the one in 25 David Marquez. If you love people that have antennas in their head, this is the book for you. If you love white people, uh, I mean, if you love albinos with ponytails, apparently, because this is Ara Singh, Bounty Hunter, 
for Star Wars Django Fett, one in twenty five for twenty dollars. Hey, Alex. Yes. You should host a show called If You Like. That would be great. That'd be the name of the show. If you like with Alex. Well, thank you. Yeah, well, there you go. That. There you go. But if you if, if you like Django Fett, though, here is the real book for you, right here. This is the one in a hundred, Derek Chu. One in a hundred, Derek Chu. We only have one available. This book is selling between a hundred and one hundred and fifteen dollars. We have one at 90. You heard me right. We have one available at $90. If you guys want this, make it happen. That is Django Fett. If you have Disney Plus and you watch the Star Wars legends almost show or infinity show called visions here you go star wars visions takashi okazaki that is the artist and writer takashi okazaki this is based off star wars visions the ronin and the droid this is the one in 25 wilds Pretatio. One in 25. We have this for $15. Visions number one. One in 25. Guys, the art in this is excellent. Lord of Brooklyn, are you claiming visions or are you just enthusiastically saying visions? Please let me know. No, guys, can you guys just say claim? I, I love the enthusiasm, but just to make sure you guys get the book, you claim visions. Because just saying visions means you're exciting. You're excited. But, uh, Lord of yeah, Brooklyn, guys, we, got, we Lord, take things very seriously here. Lord of Brooklyn wants one, and Descending Climax wants one. Awesome. You guys are good to go. Visions! How about Turtles? Yes, that, that was the 125 variant you were showing off. Yes. All right, right, so both of them just went. Yes. All right. Yes. All right, guys. Woo-hoo. Brooklyn and Climax. I don't know what you're talking Got about there. Travis. All right. For the first time in a while, you should you should you should Google that and then type in uh, Philadelphia and see what comes up. We have a turtles book for the first time in a while. Look at this. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Untold Destiny of the Foot Clan. You heard that right. The Untold Destiny of the Foot Clan, the first Turtles ratio book we've had in a while. We've got the 1 in 10 by Santos Oroku for $8. Eight. You heard me right. Eight dollars. TMNT, 1 in 10 for $8. If you want the turtles, just claim the turtles. 5i, as it's stated. Turtles, turtles, turtles. All right. Well, there's also another ratio for turtles. All right. Brooklyn, are you claiming? I'm going to go with that he wants that. So let's give him one. Yes. So that was eight. Thank you, Lord of Brooklyn. Lord of Brooklyn, we have Bueller. Do you want one too, or are you just you just? Let's carefully move these over here. Here's the one in twenty-five. Mateus Santalocchio. One in twenty-five. This is still the untold destiny. Of the Foot Clan, number one. This is the one in 25. We have this for $20. 
Lord of Brooklyn, if you claim this at $20, your $8 copy will be $5. Because you've got the other one in the ratio. Santa Pocchio. Nope, try again. Santa Leoco. Um, so, Lord of Brooklyn, if you want this for $20, claim this, and we will make the other one you claimed $8 down to $5. Cool. So just make the... Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Make it five for him. Make it five for him. He's got both copies. Guys, we have two copies left. If anybody wants the Mateus Santiapoco, Santialocchio, Santo Leocchio. It's right here. $20 for this cover right here. There's the back. There's the front. Look at that. Untold Destiny of the Foot Clan. All right. What's next? How about Spider-Man number one? Which one? I don't know. How about we have Peter and Miles and Gwen and Ben and Jessica and Miguel and who's that? I don't even know who that is. Uh, Nicholas. Cage. Yeah, that's too far away. No, wait, that that is his question. If anybody can tell me who this is, that's Spider Man. Thank you. Or which character it actually is, because I don't know offhand. But what sure I do know cool. is that Spider Web of Spider Man number one. This is the one in twenty five. Paco Medina. Paco Medina, the one in 25 is selling between 30 and 35. We're keeping ours at 25. One in 25, Paco Medina, issue number one, right there. There you go. There you what go. else have we got? Well, how about. Boom. Wolverine facsimile. Now, I want to show off something that these are doing right here. This is the Wolverine facsimile number one. One in 25, Nick Bradshaw. This is the ongoing, not the limited, the ongoing. So as you can see, that's the original cover. That's the new Nick Bradshaw cover. One in 25. We have this at $25. Only one copy available. Facsimile with a different cover. Yep. yep. Yeah. So, finally, the last incentive that I have. It looks cool, though. It's a cool cover. It does look cool. Yeah. Um, X Men Forever. All the other copies have sold. We have one copy left of X-Men Forever number one. One in 50, Mark Brooks. One in 50, and it's only $20. That's Two the head variant. Zero. That's the head no variant. Problem. Yes. That's what that is. He's doing all the heads. He's got all the head covers. If you Please. like Mohawks, here's your book. That's a uh, that's a uh, um, storm. You sure? Yeah, but yeah, he's doing all the head covers because they used to have uh, Knock. Knock used to do all the head covers, and now the Brooks is doing all the head covers for all the all the books. So there's a, just a bunch of different faces on all the covers now. Get them. Yeah. All right. So that is. Did you see the Jubilee? Did you see the, the Jubilee sketch cover? No. Don't. It's, it's not. What? I'm surprised. It, I'm surprised it got past. By uh, who? Who is it by? The Brooks. The, the Brooks 1 in 50 uh, cover with Jubilee on the cover. I'm surprised that it got past the. Uh, uh, final stages. It's horrible. Rise of the Powers of X, number four, Jubilee. Let's see. Yeah, the the sketch cover. Loading. We'll see how it is. 
All right, what is next on the list? Uh, the Mega Packs. I mega, have two mega, mega, mega Packs. Pack. That I hope people will like. Did I? I brought them in, right? Yeah. They're right here. Okay. That's that's not bad. That's that that's Derek Chu. Never mind. Oh, and no. carefully move the books over here. All right. While well, this is loading, Mega 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 Pack. Time. All right. All right. These are super good bundles. All right. First Mega Pack up. It's really to celebrate the brand new series. We have an X Men Mega Pack. Okay. And it's. I guess three items in one. We got okay, okay, you're moving it. I'm just like, look, I don't want to say it if you're not, if nobody can see it yet. Here we go. All right, in the X Men Mega Pack, we have Uncanny X Men number one, commission cover art by Joe Delviato, Mariano Nicieza. This might be their best one, honestly. X Men one homage. This one looks great. If you can't afford an X Men one, here's a sketch cover with all the X Men. You've got you got Snow Guy, you've got Eye Guy, you've got Thing Out of Her Head, you've got Guy Trampezing, and you got Guy with Wings right there. Here you go. All right. Also in there, we have Uncanny X-Men number 516, and it's signed by Greg Land. Magneto's head, beautiful helmet with his eye right there, signed by Greg Land. What and else? Then, and last but not least, X-Men number one, CGC Ooh. number 9.8. You get all of this in one bundle. It would probably be around 300 normally, but I'm going to keep it at 170. So 170 for the X-Men bundle. One MP. Signed, sketched, and graded right here for the X-Men multi-pack. Mega pack. All right, the second mega pack, 2MP, it's the Superman do, do, do. mega pack. And in this mega pack, we have first up Dawn of DC Ooh. Primer number one, and it's a Superman sketch cover. But wait, did I write? Is, Joe, is it also Joe Del Viano? Joe Del Viano. I, I didn't write it on my sheet, but it's Joe, once again, Joe Del Viano, Mariano Nicieza. Fantastic cover. We also have Dawn of DC Superman number one signed by Joshua Williamson. Look how nice that is. Ooh. And then Superman special edition number 75 CGC 9.8. Oh, that's a Superman. He died? Special. He died. Spoiler alert. <laughs> like 30 years ago. I don't I don't think he's dead. He's not. But yeah. Well, then- it would usually die. be around 320, but I'm going to keep it at 190 for this Superman Mega Pack. It was all a dream. Me. That was Dallas. Yes. Did you ever watch Dallas, Alex? Uh, no, I, I only watched Houston, and I watched uh, I watched uh, other Texas San, cities. San Antonio. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, no, I didn't watch Dallas, but of course I have watched, you know, the most famous scenes, like the ending and who shot JR? It was Maggie. Maggie shot JR. No, it was not Dallas, did it? All right. La- last but most certainly not least, we have 3MP, the Avengers. Avengers! Megapack. All right, and here we have Invincible Iron Man number wow. 600. Again, Joe Del Viano, Mariano Cieza. Again, this is probably my other favorite one that they've done, this Iron Man commission cover art. We have Captain America White, number one, signed by Jeff Loeb. as our sign book. And then Thor, number 11, CG, uh, CGC 9.8. So you get Cap, okay. Thor, and Iron Man all in one fantastic bundle. That would usually be around 320, but now we're going to keep Whoa. it at 190. Whoa, this is the Daniel Warren Johnson alien variant. Oh, my gosh. Look, Thor is destroying an alien. That is awesome. Daniel Warren Johnson, Thor fighting an alien. That is cool. Anyway, that's my two cents. So those are the mega packs. We got X-Men and Superman and the Avengers. If anyone like wants a specific mega pack someday, if it's specific, specific character, specific whether it's DC or Marvel, Boom Studios, whatever, because I'm always looking for new ideas for mega packs. So let me let me know, let me know. 
But should we show some back issues? Do you, if you know some good back issues to yeah. show, because I didn't have any on me at the at the second. Because sometimes I don't want to just show stuff we've shown a million times already. But if Alex can think of a few back nice back issues that you guys might want, I'll let him show them off. Better call Saul Knots Landing. All right. Yeah, how, about, gotta, gotta, how many uh, are we showing? How about, how, about a, how about a special, okay? How about a Fantastic special. Four special, okay? How about a Fantastic Four special where all the books that are priced at $5 and $4 how about all these books are two dollars each? How does that sound? Are you selling a set? No. I'm just curious. Well, I want to sell some books, so you know what? Fantastic Four, three twenty-four for two dollars. High grade, eight O's or better. FF, three twenty-four. Mantis must die. Kang the Conqueror. FF 324 for $2. You heard me right. Lord of Brooklyn wants one. Um, Just the, which exactly. issue is that? Uh, F 324 Brooklyn. Guys, we have three copies left. Guys, I have these priced at $5. These are legitimately high grade issues. If you want to look at one in the light, just so I can show you what we're dealing with. And what'd with. you make it again? Five or two? Uh, it was $2. Okay. Like, look, look, look at this. Look, look at this in the light. Look at that reflection. Look at the spine. Uh, Becky wants a three twenty four as well for two dollars. All the FF books are two dollars. Becky Bate, right, FF three twenty four. Leave some room because they probably will get multiples. You can just write under here. Yeah. So we have two copies left. Three twenty four for two dollars. That's Mantis and Kang. We're moving on, the guys. We're actually going to move backwards. We're moving backwards. You guys can see what I have these priced at anyway. Most of these are $6. How about $2 for $3.23? Kang, the Conqueror is back. Orphan Storm, $3.23 for... <laughs> they're not on our manhandle. They're, they're, if they were manhandle, they'd be dollar books. These are not dollar books. Uh, these are $3.23 right here for these. 323 each. Lord of Brooklyn wants one. So I'll give you, I'll give Lord of Brooklyn the lowest graded copy. No, I'm just kidding. You get the best copy. Right there, Lord of Brooklyn, you get one too. Uh, if anybody else wants one for $2, again, FF 323 Kang. Becky wants one right there. Uh, Becky wants one right there. All right, guys. How about 322? 322. We've got this one here. This is Gravitron. Now, Becky, I am. I give out the best copies first. I give out the best copies first. Don't worry. Um, FF three twenty two. This is also two dollars. This is Gravitron. Gravitron, right here. Lord of Brooklyn wants a three twenty two. Does Becky want a three twenty two as well? Two dollars right here. George Perez. Joe Sinat, FF three twenty two. Becky gets one. Yeah, just so you guys know, look, like I'm not, I wasn't kidding you guys. Like these are these are actually priced at five bucks. Guys, I promise he does take care of these books. If anything's misplaced, he'll get honest about it. Like keep it like this, keep it like this. Like we I joke, swear, but I don't joke about you know. The condition and so this. Anyway, that was three twenty two. How about what's next? How about three twenty one? Three twenty one. Miss Marvel versus She Hulk. Oh wow! Plan the power. Who is that? What is it? Three twenty one. Three twenty one. Two dollars each. Got two copies. Becky gets one first, and then Lord of Brooklyn. If he wants one, let me know. Uh. Yes, he does. Wait, they, they each want they each get one copy so far, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so we're just gonna separate this. All right, cool. I'm happy you guys are happy. Lord of Brooklyn's there, guys. How about we just keep going with? Oh, okay. All right, guys, ready for this? Three eighteen. We have uh, a, a a nice copy for two dollars. Then we have a slightly, guys. This is still good. 
No spine picks, but it's probably one grade point less. It's a newsstand. So, um, Lord of Brooklyn, uh, whoever, I don't know which one to give. Uh, Lord of Brooklyn, cling first. Lord of Brooklyn, do you want the, the little bit nicer direct or the slightly not as good newsstand? Again, both are, like, this is probably, you know, this might be a 9-0. This could be, like, an an 8 Like, they're both high grade, just that this is slightly better than the newsstand. Let me know, Lord of Brooklyn, uh, newsstand or direct for that one. This doesn't matter. The nicer one. All right, so Lord of Brooklyn's there. L-O-B. Again, these are very similar condition. That's why they're the same price. How about no 320? Hey, Alex, did you get did you get Becky claim the other one? Yes. Okay. Is it just me or did their volume go out? Well, uh, maybe it's me. Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Ah, lousy. Yeah, we we hear you now. Yeah, Sorry we, about we, that. We, muted first. We, we did get muted. So okay. Becky claimed first. So Becky, do you want the nicer one or the slightly what a few uh, slightly not as nice newsstand? Again, both are similar condition, but the direct is a little bit nicer. Becky claimed first on this one, so let us know. For 317, Becky, nicer or newsstand? You just say NS or direct. Uh, mm -hmm. Let us know. Put that aside. Becky wants a newsstand, so we'll make sure that uh, Lord of Brooklyn gets that. Again, I, I have his label anyway, but uh, how about we go down to issue 316? Austin 316, both are, both are, um, 316, both are directs right here. $2 each, not $4. $2 each on these, and anybody wants them right here. Uh, this is 316. Lord of Brooklyn wants one. Does Becky want one? Let us know, Becky. There you go. All right, moving on to 315. We have three of these. 315 right here. Uh... Two directs and a newsstand. Unless you guys want the newsstand, you'll get the directs. Uh, this is 315. Menace is Master Pandemonium. 315 right here. You guys want it. 315. Direct, direct, newsstand. If you want the newsstand specifically, but each copy is $2. Let me know. I see a Laura, Brooklyn, and Becky. They both get each one each. Awesome. How about we keep going on to how about 314? All three are uh, directs. 314. Uh, from the pages of X Men, Belasco, Nuff said, uh, Laura, Brooklyn wants his a newsstand. So I'll switch out LOBs. Don't worry about that. All right. All right. Laura, Brooklyn, I got you there. All right, guys. 314, 314 is $2, FF, uh, Becky claimed, and Lord of Brooklyn claimed, okay, that one's nicer, that one's nicer, or, okay, uh, oh, wait, guys, uh, I did have one more, I did have one more, uh, 314, so Becky, Lord of Brooklyn, you both got a newsstand, sorry, Becky, Lord of Brooklyn, you both got a direct, if any of you wants the newsstand instead, First one to say newsstand, I'll switch it out for you instead. Unless you also want the newsstand, I can charge you for that one as well. But as of now, you both have regular for 314. So just clarify what you want. As I move on to 313, 313. Becky wants the newsstand for that one, so I'll switch it out. Um, sorry, Lord of Brooklyn. Becky got that one first. So Becky got that newsstand. Uh, 313, both are directs. 313, both are directs, $2 each. Uh, there you go. Becky got the first one. 
We got second one. How about guys? We're gonna keep going until I don't want to go. How about three twelve? Three twelve. Doctor Doom cover. Fall of the mutants. Fall of the mutants tie-in. Uncanny X Men right here. Three twelve with Doctor Doom. This definitely should not be two dollars. An FF Doom book. George Perez, no, sorry, Ron Franz, James Sinat, Joe Sinat, what am I even saying? Uh, I see two claims there. So Becky and Lord of Brooklyn, not in that order right there. If anybody else wants one, $2 on this. This is a Ron Franz, Joe Sinat, the FF 312. This is a Dr. Doom book. All right, guys, Becky, Lord of Brooklyn, fair warrant, um, Crimson Terror 85. Crimson Terror 85. We're taking 312? Yes, 312. Um, Crimson Terror, don't forget to fill out the form, the claim form. We have a claim form. Please fill it out so we have your information right there. Becky, Lord of Brooklyn, Crimson Terror. We only have one of these. So the first one in gets it $2, 311. 311 featuring Black Panther. I want to die. 311 featuring Black Panther for $2 right here. First one in gets it. Crimson Terror. No, no wait. What? Are claim? we sure? The first claim, first Crimson Terror was for the last one. Uh, right? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. It, it jumped up really fast. Lord of Brooklyn hits us with that first. Sorry, Becky. Uh, Lord of Brooklyn was first on that one, 311. Um, we're going down to 309. 309, Friends and Sinat. Um, spanking new FF. Face the, yes, Brooklyn, you were first. Yes, you were. Um, Lord, uh, face to face with Fasand. 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 Look at that weird coloring. Uh, but this is $2. 309 for $2. Right here, um, 309 for $2. Um, now, Crimson, you, you you were third for the second book. You did, you got 312, but you were third for the second uh, for that one. 309, Brooklyn has one. Becky's got one. Uh, and we have one copy left of 309. Um, one copy left of 309 right here. Anybody wants it. <laughs> Right here, 309. Last copy left. Does Becky want it? Becky got, we got one. Becky, Lord of Brooklyn and Becky. Got, both got 309. Yes. All right. How about 308? 308. All three are directs. 308. This is first appearance of Fasaud. It says introducing the strongest new, the strangest new villain of the year. This has to be the intro issue for Fasaud. Right here, three oh eight for two dollars. Three oh eight. Let me just say something real quick. I'm glad that uh, Amy is taking care of writing down all these purchases from people because if it was Rex, he'd be losing his mind right now. First of all, Rex will be losing his mind, but I can tell you this: <laughs> I do a lot of claim shows that don't require sheets. I do like that, that just book claim, book claim. So they're in a pile. They're in, like they're organized in a pile. They're ready to go. So even if Amy wasn't here, I I, I keep things separated and labeled and organized like that. Um, you like to so keep things separated? Keep them separated. Anyway, we got one. Well, I, I, watched, I watched your sale the other night uh, there, Alex, when you were by yourself oh, well, I, selling that Lyrics Lee Spider-Man book. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. That was fun. Yeah. Um, this is... FF 308. We have one copy left. Becky got one. Lord of Brooklyn got one. First for sound. Guys, if you love cheese dingles, if you love cheese dingles, what's a cheese dingle? Phone. I don't know. It says cheese dingle on the front. Oh, it does, doesn't it? That's the first appearance yeah. of a cheese dingle. Yep. Crimson Terror's got that one. Awesome. You guys go 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 on key collector. It says first appearance of cheese dingles. Okay. Um, you know what? 
Uh, I was gonna make. Uh, I we we hit three hundred. I can't. I can't in good conscience make. Do we need? I was gonna. I was gonna say. Do we? Do we want to do? Because I mean, we're on like the last half hour of the show. Did we want to do one more aftermath and then do our giveaway? Or uh, as happy as I am that people are stacking up on FX. Yeah. I just didn't know how much further you were ready to go. Yeah. No. I think. I mean, they're buying, so I might. We might as well keep going. But I want to adjust something really fast. So bear with me a minute. I'm going to show a few more, but these are a little, little bit better. So instead of $2, these next ones, they're going to be $3 because they're under $300. So they're a little bit older. Uh, they're newsstands, a little bit better condition. Uh, so give me one second just to do some housekeeping. Stall, Amy, stall. Last time, yeah, last guys, time. let us know if there's anything else you you need a second look at because we still have the incentives up here, the mega packs, uh, the dynamite atlas books, and there's even stuff in here. But, but again, in case anyone's watching on the rewinds, just fill out the form and ask us if something is still available. We'll let you know if it is. Yeah, all right, last time, the last time Amy was told to stall, she just said stall like three or four times. That was, was hilarious. Crazy. All right, so <laughs> it's uh, stalling. The following FF oh. books are under issue 300. So these are all $3 each, okay? $3 each. So FF 268, newsstand. FF 268, newsstand. Mask of Doom. Guys, don't sleep on the Doom books. FF 268. This is Lord of, uh, no, Crimson Terror gets this one first. Crimson Terror is on this one. So $3 on that one. Uh, I have these sticky, so these will be able to tell the difference. How about this one? How about FF 260? FF 260 newsstand, $3. 260 newsstand for $3. Great cover there. Uh, Crimson Terrors on that one. How about issue 259? 259 for three dollars. Three against Doomsday. 259. Three dollars. 259. Becky has that one. Becky has that one. Becky has that one. Two fifteen. Amy, do me a favor. In in the in, in the chat. Can you put the chat a second? Am I? Am I let me see if I can. Can you put like a uh, little minus sign, like like uh, like right there, and press enter. Cool, cool. That that'll do each okay. book. That'll do it. So this one was Becky. Becky got this one for three. Um, so give me one second. All right, I just want to separate that way I don't miss the claims. It's, it's important that I get the claims. All right, guys, here we go. Um, oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it, guys. Be ready. John Byrne, John Byrne, 251 newsstand, $3. Becky's claimed. I think she didn't even, she wasn't even waiting. She knew it. John which which number is that again? Three. Sorry, 251 for three dollars. John Byrne, separate, please. Was it just the one? Yeah, okay. Oh, thanks, Bueller. Guys, pop oh, out. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. This is a oh, no, no, never mind. John Byrne, how about hi, right. Lord of Brooklyn? This is John Byrne 237. John <laughs> Byrne 237. I think he, he already wanted it before he showed it. If that, I mean, hold on. I, I want to give Lord of Brooklyn first refusal because he did claim it first without even seeing it. Um, Lord of Brooklyn, are you saying you claim this for three dollars? We don't want to do claims before they, we show the books, just to make sure. But three dollars for this one. Um, for Lord of Brooklyn, um, 
All right, sp spacer, spacer. Okay, cool, spacer. Okay, uh, guys, stop. This one is four dollars. This one is four dollars. Four dollars. Nineteen eighty two seventeen issue two seventeen. Ya tin galoot. You brought that into the FF two seventeen. Crimson Terror. Four dollars for two seventeen. Guys, as we get earlier, they're not going to go up more, but they have to be four dollars for these. Like spacer. Come on. There we go. Uh, uh, FF them. 203, $4. 203 for $4. 203 for $4. 203. 203. This is 78. 1978. 203 for $4. Becky Bate gets this one. Give me a little, give me a few, a few more. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, this one is special. Guys, we've gone as early as we can go. We've gone as early as we can go. So what we're gonna do right here, ready for this one right here? This is Fantastic Four number one, the Marvel Milestone Edition. This reprints Fantastic Four number one. This is technically a facsimile as it does reprint the ads. We're gonna do best offer, starting at $4. Best offer on this one, starting at $4. FF number one, Marvel Milestone Edition. This is a facsimile of issue number one. Best offer at $4. Let's go ahead and see how we do with this. Lord of Brooklyn has $4. Again, this is a facsimile of um, more of the very first Marvel team up book. We got four, we got a five. Becky Bates at five. Guys, this started the Marvel universe in good fashion. Marvel Silver Age book right here. Becky Bates at five. This Lord of the at seven. seven. This again, this is the Marvel milestone. This reprints FF number one. It is a facsimile as it does have the original ads right here. I love reprints. I have every single Marvel milestone. This, of course, is a great book. Becky Bate says 10. ten. So we've got 10 there on this. Can anybody beat 10 for this FF number one? Uh, Lord of Brooklyn folds. F Becky Bate has it. Fair warning if anybody else wants it. If not, this will go to ten dollars for Becky Bate. Ten dollars for Becky Bate. Congrats, Becky. We got this one for you here. Awesome. There's a few more. I mean, we might as well finish the box up, um, guys. This is the last. I'm going to show some annuals. This is the last single non-annual of FF. This is a very classic cover. I wanted to save this one for the last before the annuals. This is the last single issue. Classic cover, classic cover, homages, an amazing book. FF 325. We have this at $5. $5. FF 325. Classic Kirby Crackle Silver Surfer homaging FF 72. Classic cover right here with the Kirby Crackle. We have this for $5. Becky has this for five dollars all right let's bang these out these are the annuals let's just get through some annuals the annuals are four dollars each four dollars each ff annual 23 ff 23 from 1990 we have newsstand and direct ff 23 from 1990 a ton of story content in here um, maybe just do a separate if you can. I'm trying to, um, I need to see it. Oh, sorry. There you go. Um, so FF23, this is 1990. This is four dollars for the annual, and this is a lot of story here. This is a John Byrne issue right here. John Byrne, 
That's why it's four dollars. John Byrne here. Anybody wants FF annual? We'll do that. That is twenty three for four dollars. What do you guys not want the annuals? Um, how about how about uh, how about annual twenty four nineteen ninety one? Al Milgram, 24, 1991, $4. These are square bound, thicker books, a ton of story content. FF, 20, uh, FF annual 24 from 1991, $4. And we have 25. FF annual 25. This is Citizen Kang, Kang book here. Classic Kang story. This is also four dollars. Ignore the six. This is also four dollars right there. Uh, and are there any more annuals? Oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, there's a few more. Um, FF annual. You know what? You know what? FF annual twenty six. You know what, Becky? You know what, Lord of Brooklyn? How about this? How about this? Because you guys got so many. If you guys want the annuals. They're $2 each. $2 each for the annuals. If you want the annuals, they're $2 each. If you get all four annual, uh, actually, yeah, get all four annuals um, right here, $2 each. Annual 23, annual 24, annual 25, annual 26. $2 each for these if you guys want them at all. A lot of story content there for the FF. <laughs> A lot of good stuff there. If you guys do not want the annuals, Becky, go to Brooklyn. Just say full for the annuals, just so I know that you guys are out on the annuals. And I'll stop there. Becky, Lord of Brooklyn claims all, actually. Becky will do it. Okay, so. Uh, they'll both take annuals. They both take annual so, sets, I so should say. Yeah, so they're $2 each. So I'm taking the price tags off because those are $2 each. So 23 24 25 26 Becky and Lord of Brooklyn. Becky claimed first. So, Becky, if you want the new stand for 23, let me know. If not, you'll get the direct. Becky, if you want the new stand for 23, let me know. Otherwise, you'll get the direct um, right there. So, one second. Those are all for $2. Becky, uh, run. Becky is there enough for is there enough sets for both? Then hold on, hold on one second, one second, guys. The FF twenty six are sealed, by the way. Just want to point that out. So Becky wants the new stand, so we'll make sure Becky gets the new stand. So one, two, three, and four for Becky, and then Marshall Warpath. Marshall Warpath wants. Uh, a set for eight. Wait, Marshall, can you confirm which one you want? We've got 23, 24, 25, 26, but we're doing them all for $2 each. Um, <laughs> Becky, can you confirm which one you want? So right now for the annuals, we have Brooklyn, we have Becky. Both of you got 23, 24, 25, 26. Becky got the newsstand. But we still have Marshall Warpath. If you let me know which FF you want, 23, 24, 25, 26, they're going to be $2 each if you get them all. Um, Crimson Terror, the new, Becky already claimed the new stand, or she claimed the set, so we wanted to make sure she got first dibs. No, Crimson Terror, um, there was only one new stand, and we wanted to make sure that Becky. If she wanted it, it was part of her set. So that one was part of that. So we don't have any more new stands for the uh, – we don't have any more new stands for these just directs. But these, again, these are $2 each for these. Um, anybody wants any more, let me know. Marshall Warpath, we haven't heard from you. You need to know which one you want, Marshall. You said claim FF annual, but they're all FF annuals. So just let me know if you want uh, – you want you want the set? If you want the set, we'll pull the set for you for two dollars each. So eight dollars for 23, 24, 25, 26. Marshall, you write that, Marshall? 
cool. So Marshall Warpath, we're going to write Ooh, you down for all four. That's $8. That's MW. That's your thing right there. Crimson Terror wants a 26. All right, so Crimson Terror wants a 26 for $2. Oh. So we'll get you. I'll take that off, and I'll put two CT on there. Becky's over here. Lob's over here. All right. Awesome. So we have one final book for FF. This is 27. We only have one 27. Uh, looks like Marshall, Marshall just wants. Marshall just wants the 25. Marshall just wants the 25. All right, Marshall. I got you down for the 25. I got you down for the 25. Who wants 27? Crimson Terror claim the 27. 20 for two dollars. Crimson Terror claim the 27 for two dollars. Right there. Uh so Marshall Warpath. We only have you for the issue 25 for two dollars. That's it. Other than that. That is the FF, the Fantastics. If anybody wants any more, um, oh, you know what? Sorry, we have two more. Annual, we have only one copy of these. Might as well get them done. Annual 98. Annual 98 for $2. Annual 98 for $2. And annual 2000 for $2. Please clarify which ones you want. 98 for two dollars and two thousand for two dollars. You claim them, they're two dollars each. 98 annual for two dollars, two thousand annual for two dollars. If you guys want them, just do claim for those. That again, that's 98 and two thousand. Crimson Terror wants 25 also. 25. I got you, Crimson Terror. That one is $2 for Crimson. I got that one. Lord of Brooklyn wants $98 for $2. And 2000 issue 2000 is right here. Does anybody want FF Annual 2000 for $2? Anybody want FF Annual 2000 for $2? It's right there if anyone does. It's the last FF of the night. The last book of the night before the giveaway. If anybody Ooh. wants it, 2000 FF. Guys, Marvel had gone bankrupt at this time, so there's not a high print run on these. This is FF to Annual 2000. If anybody wants it. Uh, Becky. Becky wants it. All right, cool. I didn't mean to cut into your Amy Aftermath, but. But you made FF you made some people selling. happy, so. So that's what we're here, and that's what we're here to do. So, so you, Travis, you got a question for the giveaway? Well, before we do the giveaway, guys, we're not going to do an aftermath per se. But if anybody does want to see yeah. anything again, medals, medals, atlas, sign books, incentives, let us know. Mega packs, let us know. If not, we're going to go on to Travis's question. Yeah. Again, any que Sorry. any questions and requests? Again, that's also for the, that could also be used on the form. Okay. All right, you guys ready for the giveaway question? The first one to answer this correctly wins the giveaway. Uh, what else is in the Fantastic Four annual Kang set? Uh, Marshall, it's FF annual 23, 24, 25, which is the Citizen Kang book you got, and 26. All uh, uh, basically uh, a quick 90s run of FF annuals. They're two dollars each. You got the Kang. If you want the other three, let me know and I'll add them on. They're two dollars each. All right, we're gonna post the question. The first one to get this right wins the giveaway tonight. Yes. Here is uh, the question. What is Godzilla not allowed to do? Ooh. I remember. Oh, I, remember I was driving the car. And I heard this, and I remember. What is Godzilla not allowed to do? First person to answer wins a sketch cover. Eat burritos. Speak English. <laughs> hug babies and eat You know what? She <laughs> got the there you go. That's the that's Becky. the answer. You cannot eat the people. 
And I'm guessing probably cannot hug babies as well. But eat people is the correct answer. So, Becky, congratulations. Congrats. What a show. What a show. What a fantastic show. Um, oh, for Fantastic Four? Yeah, good one. Yeah, uh, Travis, throw up, throw up the link again, please. Guys, if you claim something, Lord of Brooklyn, Becky, CT, uh, Marshall. We, you do, do, do a great job with their yeah. piles. We know who's who. Yeah, we know who's who. We know we'll, keep it, we'll keep them organized. But, and we'll invoice you guys tomorrow. But still, send in the forms. Yeah, send the forms in. Make Amy happy. Give us your information. And, uh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's our show tonight, show. guys. There you go. The link is posted in the top of the chat, right at the very top. It's pinned. It's also in the description of the video at all times, so you guys can always find it. So please fill out the forms. That way people can get uh, our Team Dynamite can get your books to you and everything. So thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Is there anything else we need to cover before we go real quick? Um, we do have the original art experience tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern. There you go. On the experience, um, Nick has a nice collection of stuff, what like from a little bit higher to a little bit more affordable. We're gonna have some CCAs available. It's, it's, it's gonna be cool, so please check it out. There you go. And also, uh, we said this earlier, but Declan Shelby was on uh, the Dynamite channel earlier today. There's also an yes. interview I did with Declan Shelby earlier this week. You can go check that out. We talk about uh, the uh, uh, Thundercats and also some of his other work. So please check that out. That's part one. There will be a part two uh, later down the road. So, everyone, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We appreciate you, and we hope to see you again next Thursday. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you, guys. Good night.